a young man called me from abroad, UK to be precise. In his chat with me, I discovered that he had done three jobs that day and was on his way to the fourth one. He said, sir, bills, bills. I said, I don't understand. He said, sir, there are bills to pay. That he walked at a train station in the morning, went to the tea shop around 11, that he came back home, relaxed for one hour, and went back to the train station again to do his third job for the day, and was on his way to walk in a night club. Now, when he said this, I was touched. And I want to use this as an opportunity to talk to us as Nigerians. Listen, if you refuse to build your own country, you will eventually serve those building theirs. That's one truth about life I want you to understand. Your country that you did not build will remain as it is. And you know how it is. You will want to jack her to where? To a country that has been built and what will eventually happen you will serve them there the kind of things that you can't do here in your country you begin to do listen for nigeria to rise again you know what i will tell us today let us arise and begin to build because if you refuse to build your country you eventually serve those building theirs i had an experience with one uh, military man a nigerian army officer he came around my office, you know, and we're chatting. And he said, you know, pastor. So in our chat, the military man just called me and said, why not move your family out of Nigeria? I said, why? He said, see, sir, if you know what I know about this country, you will not stay here. Now, why, what he said touched my heart. Now, it didn't touch me to try to flee from Nigeria. It touched me in such a way that I felt so bad that I needed to do something about my country, Nigeria. Listen, it's an attitude in our country for us to leave things the way we are. For us to leave things the way they are. Every Nigerian, you understand, that nothing works on its own. Do you know that most of the things our fathers ignored in their days are the problems we are battling with now? Now, most of the things our fathers ignored in their days are the problems we are battling now. If we refuse to arise and build now, our children could be affected tomorrow. Now, this brings us uh, to the story of the Alumangiris in the north. Now, who are they? The Alumangiris are the male children of several poor northerners. Now, they chose to, to send them to an Arab, Arabic school instead of sending them to a secular school. And most times, when they send them to such schools, they neglect them in those Arabic schools. So, you know what these young men will do in their days? They go around. I remember I went to Casina State. I spent some time in Casina. Very early in the morning, they will come to the entrance of the door and start shouting, Alumon Giris. Once you hear Alumon Giris, you give them the leftover foods you have or anything you have just to encourage them. Do you know that those Alumon Giris are now the foot soldiers of terrorists? Most of them are foot soldiers of terrorists. Now, if our fathers in their days had paid attention to these boys and giving them quality education, I want you to know that Nigeria would not have been battling insecurity today. Terrorism had become an issue in Nigeria today because we neglected those young men yesterday. Listen, if you think living things as it is right now does not affect you today, you have to consider the future of your children. Let me come again. If you refuse to build your own, you will eventually serve those building theirs. I want to encourage every Nigerian. It is time to work. 
Start building Nigeria from your quarters. Start from where you are. Don't wait until you have financial power, political power, or any kind of power. Now, you can start building Nigeria from your own family. Ask yourself as a parent, what kind of children am I going to inject into the society? I've made up my mind. I'll be part of those that will build Nigeria. Are you making up your mind to join me? If you have not, make up your mind too. And I pray that God will help us make Nigeria great again. Let's take our pledge as we usually do. I pledge to Nigeria, my country, to be faithful, loyal, and honest, to serve Nigeria with all my strength, to defend her unity, and uphold her honor and glory. So help me God.